and no waiting around either. We're right into the action. We're right into the pistol. Got sent fast, playing towards the B bomb site. They're gonna get slaughtered. Cold Zero is here. His entire team around him, and God sent can't even get past the tunnel. Four from Cold Zero, and well, that's certainly a way to start the game. Two got some flashes fight. Do they just go and try to double peek? It's a trade attempt, but the bomb has been dropped and no one even swings off the back of that kill. He's certainly hoping for a trade, but that's a Nico to get aggressive on the back of the A site and drop two more. Got some hesitating and they are going to pay the price. Yeah, now just Zen and Stiko left standing in the blink of an eye. They're going to try and join up over here in middle, but be sure to bear in mind that Brokey has wrapped all the way around through mid and catches Stiko very much unaware on this wraparound from behind. That's now him upgraded as well, and this is where things will find nothing. And face man, well, they'll at least get three rounds. That's really what they're waiting for. Now that leads to a quick rotation from Cold Zera up towards the A bomb site. That puts four uh -oh. players here for phase, meaning that now as this site take comes in, they actually have the man advantage in the A bomb site. This is not a good situation Oof. for Godsent, and they are learning that the hard way. It is a complete and utter shutdown, a flawless round from phase. Because of Dead Fox's role in that in that team at the time. So, yeah, I, I'd like to see Godsend try and use something like that, try and have more Lurk players, or do what they're doing now and speed up the pace. Now, still it's a stack for FaZe. Uh, that's the unfortunate part. Godsend are walking into a lot of bodies, but they've also got a lot of guns. There they do. Rain. Ooh. Just didn't know any better. Brokey does, though. Brokey knows all of the angs. He's going to be hitting all the shots and ultimately defending off this A site. And it's another one of these rounds where they try and send a guy up towards A in the hope that that baits a rotation out from phase. Now, Cold there was doing the classic of, you know, pre-aiming to take the tunnel's peak. Didn't realize that they'd gotten so close, and so he gets caught. Nico is now alone Ooh. at the B bomb site, and Stiko does manage to best him in the head to head. So now Brokey and Rain over in heaven on for the retake. Oh, dear. That's awkward. That is very, very awkward. But luckily enough, Stiko had plenty of time. Rain did not know he was down below. Brokey now left in this clutch. Now one V2 flashing himself to take this peek down into pit. Crystal what? getting caught out in the bomb site. Bit of a grave error for him, and that's where he finds himself now. Stiko 1v1. This is very hard for him. How on earth is he going to manage this? He's trying to find the uh, engagement. Don't think he realizes he yeah. crossed over towards short side. And <gasps> oh, oh, no! Baby. Not like this! Easy does it, says Brokey. Oh, he's and still he's 12 0. Will not refrain from putting himself on the front lines here. He still does have that AWP. Rain's going to get chased down here in the bathroom. Nice. And another up. one for Brokey. Yeah, just baited in. Just, just, you know, by design. Rain runs away. Crystal tries to take the kill. Uh, boom, the AWP is in play. Nico's now got one of his own as well. He's been tagged up, so gifted it over by Brokey. Cold drops a B player. Zen has to push through the Molotov. He's going to get hurt here. The Shadow gives it away, but he lines up a double kill. Cold and Olaf lining up in the B bomb site. Godson might have just found their first. Of course, Ray now looking to come in from the short side. Makalele swinging on out, does deal with Nico, but Brokey Ooh. can't seem to catch a bullet today. He's actually going to run away with this AWP, not only saving the AWP, but keeping his flawless scoreline going, 14-0. Cool. Okay, mid's been clear the entire round and Godson haven't come up connector. Let's see this aggression from Rain, but it might be too late. He's lost two teammates inside of the site. Cold Zero has to hold uh, shallow as well. He has to go passive as Godson are starting to push into B. Good utility as well. Molotov's completely cut off potential rotators in the last few seconds. And Stiko's coming in on connector, but shouldn't find a kill here. His first death here and now. Crystal still up over at the A bomb site, and that's going to leave options open a godsend for him to come in late to cut off these rotations. Brokey is trying to run for the hills, but he's going to need some help from Nico. Over at Graffiti, Crystal still basically out of this round, finally arrives at Connector and is now in a position to help out. And Brokey. I love it, but godsend, not moving away, not falling prey to leaving this bomb site. However, man advantage Ooh. now with FaZe. They tap the bomb. Brokey lands the shot to Crystal oh. and the follow up to Makalele. 12 HP and he's not ready to go down yet. 17 and 0 on Brokey.
Three up on this top site. They're going to hit a utility rain ready. Brokey oh, firing dear. off. Still yet to die. Oh. He's finally gone. He's out of here. Will this be the round? The gods they can put on the board. Surely you think so. Rain's got caught with a flashbang. Shot from the sidelines. They don't know there's a third player here though. And Nico, 10 seconds. He's stalling it. He's going to win the round all on his own. Nico with three, not the fourth, but it doesn't matter. There's no time for Madden. It's phase up to 11. Ah, oh, that is gut wrenching how that round falls apart for Godsend. Likely to get the first bit of contact here. He does. He's not going to win his duel. Out's going to be Zen. And Stiko with the two big kills there for Godsend towards this B site. Damn, we got this wrap as well. We haven't really seen this come into play because Godsend have struggled to take the sites at times, but Crystal is coming in on the back lines. Nico's had to drop, and he's now one step further away from this flank, and Godsend have just pulled the brakes. They've said, wait, we've got this player in the back line. Let's use him to good use, and FaZe are not ready for this player to be coming in. Nico's going to try and force fights. If he drops a bomb, that's massive, but Crystal does find the kill. Nico's killed by Zen in the site, and Rain, he knows there's a player above him. He knows they're all over B, but still, this should be out of the question. Stiko is going to trade and got sent find three. Let's always look to innovate. They're already innovating on the six man roster. <laughs> with six man? Them. Only yeah. six? Yeah, you know, and well, look at this. Cole Ooh. going toe to toe with a couple of players down here in the connector. We'll revisit this little Astralis conversation in due time because right now, three on three for God's sake. Oh, no. Oh, this is this is all going to come down to timing. Olaf, please, please look, please check. And he does look, he does check, but Stiko still is able to best him. Oh, doubling back. Madam was walking CT, but he is here at the right time, and Crystal's been removed from heaven. Nico with a quick tap. Doesn't need the Kevlar. Aim punch, no worry, as Madden looks to punch their aim back again as he gets aggressive. Flash in his face, but he does avoid it, and Nico tries to escape off the site. Not going to be able to, Madden, with three. Quick kills. Gains some ground inside of A, but... And not feeling good about that one. Does shut down cold, and he doesn't want to give up any ground over here at the A bomb site. He'll actually regress and set this little nerdy crossfire up with Makalele over towards the tunnels. And he's making it look a little too easy. And that's what happens. Nico. Bye bye. Only good for one. It's Makalele mopping them up at the very, very end. Three kills. Crystal had pushed through connector and started to flank B. Now that's delayed the speed of this flank and he might arrive a little too late to the party. You see this fight going down between Olaf and Crystal and now they know there's a man on the wrap. Plant found over here at the A bomb site. A man advantage for God sent in the retake. Ooh. And the decision to delay this bomb plant, it almost could have cost FaZe, but Cold Zera somehow turns it into their favor, catches both of these players as they're trying to deal with Brokey on the bomb, and no one can deal with Brokey on the bomb. Olaf coming in on this wrap does deal with Crystal, and this leaves Stiko in a very hot seat indeed. 1v2 to find, time ticking away, and Nico puts him in the grave. 14 on the board for FaZe. Olaf might come back into it, though. And there's the kill, but there is a player right below them to capitalize. Rain's going to try and trade. He can't do it. Crystal keeps connector for Godsend and holds a five on three. And is in mm. the B bomb site. No one from Godsend is here to contend. Aside from these short players, and they actually come back at the perfect timing to deal with Nico. Damn, one by one, they are just feeding the beast. Not going to be an easy 1v5 for Brokey by any stretch no. of the imagination, especially not now that they know where he is. And with 30 seconds left, might just look to try and save. There's players all around him, though. He's even getting flanked by Makalele. And yeah, double peaked, dealt with, traded. Yeah, here they go. Not many guns to play with. Stiko's going to be flashed, and they're already, already on top of him. Stiko's good for one Olaf with the trade with the Technina. And they're going to continue to fly in here with these oh, pistols no. finding success. This has been a disaster for Hole from Godsent. And now just Makalele uh, stands by himself. Oh, he dropped his Molotov here. Has an idea that Cold Zero could be playing close. And he was right. Snips him out. And takes him down with the ump. Now, just 2v1. Oh, he was on the head there. And of course. In this round. Yeah, another so, B rush. Yeah, just all in for B. FaZe, they know the money isn't going to be there. They know they can overwhelm oh, this Godsend okay. defense. They did it before with less, and now they've got even more. They mop this one up. 
And this might be a done deal. Makalele and Madden left in a two on five clutch to try and deny the victory to FaZe. They've got to go for it, but really not holding out for this one. Brokey's waiting. He looks to make his KD just that little bit better. Flashed in by the likes of FaZe as they look to set up Brokey with one. There's another man around the corner. Madden is so low. Brokey, give it to us. He's done it. It's closed. It's gone. It's over. Phase 16 to 6. They will take Godsend's map pick with ease. From the Godsend's, uh, sorry, from the Phase clan side, they do get this position down towards hell. And now Phase going up into heaven. Maybe it's them who's God sent as they get down into this A bomb site. Damage done. Crystal does deal with Nico, but Olaf immediately equalizes it out. Bomb plant does come in, and it's a plant for heaven. With Olaf lurking in late through the ramp room, this bomb is planted for him and there's no smokes, no utility on the Godsent side. That really could cause to be a bit of a problem here for the Godsent squad. Olaf, pressure's on now, 1v2. This isn't gonna be easy, even with the heaven bomb plant. Zen is gonna be keeping an eye on this position. Madden does have a kit as well and Olaf peeking just a little too late. Gives that defuse over, very awkward engagement. Pushed up in the meantime, and Olaf isn't going to check it. That's a free kill. Will it be traded? FaZe need this frag, and they've got it. Bomb getting spotted, and the ramp split coming through. FaZe want to hit lower. The scout is here, though. It's not the weapon Michael Ellie wanted. The orb will be a lot more versatile in that position. And Nico, he's entering down lower as well. Oh. Two kills, both headshots. Uh -oh. Bombs dropped, though, and FaZe have lost it in the lobby. Crystal's pushed in. They try and avoid Michael Ellie. Instead, they walk back into an even bigger threat, and Crystal's going to try and push further. Michael Ellie got, got him covered, and now FaZe need kills. They're not worried about the plant. Yeah, this was looking real good for FaZe with those double entries from Nico, but now he's got to continue his little reign of terror in this round. Rain coming up through ramp does manage to best Crystal. Ooh, and Nico yeah. even dealing with Makalele to cement three kills in that round. It's a cool molly that they throw there, right? Because they all group up in vent, they hear the molly tag someone, and so they know that there's already a player waiting above the vents. And also that molly prompts a bit of a stick around from the three players up towards that upper bomb site, right? Anticipating that they're trying to clear the vents so that they can come up them. And so this has left a three on three available to phase. Deco does at least dispatch of Brokey. As Zenim with another, it Ooh. all falls onto Cold Zera. But if there ever was a man who could tow the line between life and death, it might be Cold. However, caught off guard by Madden coming out from the double door. And he will solidify that round. Nice try from Cold, but not enough. The rifles as FaZe will like to run a lot of fast rounds, this being one of them. Quickly out the door, Cold's got the hero AK, he's looking for kills, and he's found the first. Crystal at the back of the site lines up a couple, but he only finishes the kill to Cold. It's Nico to trade, and Olaf to regress back into the lobby. He gets an off angle for Steko, and FaZe are running wild over this round. Rain hasn't got a gun, he's back to a Glock, he's dropped both <laughs> of his weapons, trying to find something off the floor. He's in the spawn. What if Godsend went for this? <laughs> like, what if they yeah. went for it in like yeah, the I last mean, 20 seconds? What if they pulled them out, Sports, yeah, right? For and sure. you just last second retake out, right? They deal with one of the players that was looking to get away with the save and they might even find Makalele. Yeah, they're just sneaking in and Godsend have got no idea. They left their back door open and well, these intruders have just walked on in and they've taken everything at the B-bomb site. Stiko's now realized oh. alarm system's going off, alarm bell's ringing, and Stiko heating up over towards the back of the bomb site gets dropped by Brokey. So now this B site with seven seconds left, that bomb plant's Ooh. found. Olaf is waiting to try and cut off rotations, but he might find himself in a hot seat in a moment's time. Now they know he's coming in on this vent wrap and Madden is looking to deal with him. Olaf. Might have made the right decision here, nice, getting out yeah. towards the double doors, and it becomes all too clear to Madden what's happened a little too soon. Oh, Olaf Ooh. just keeps on dodging him and now nice. swings out, catches the perfect timing, and Brokey in with another phase. They'll find a fifth round on the board. I think FaZe imagine we're going to be a bit more, you know, focused on flushing out the ramp room. Zen Ooh. actually completely blindsides Nico and follows up onto Rain, no less. So a man advantage still maintained for Godsend, even with that trade coming on through. And now FaZe 
Setting up outside of the A side of the map, a player in the vents on a rotation up to help out. Olaf though, walking out of the hut, a position that's gone unaccounted for. And oh dear, Olaf, Olaf in all the way to the bank at the end of this round, man. He, get, he takes three down with him and secures a seventh on the board for FaZe. Stiko with an MP9 and a dream. Well, Gotten have had a, a hole in them ripped. Stiko looking to patch it, but he's only going to get one, at least trading onto Olaf in that round. But the orb Secure. Well, he swats him away like it's nothing. Man advantage is now taken for FaZe in this round. Now, Stiko is boosted up here in the ramp room earlier on, and he's looking oh, to give us some big oh. results. Gets a lot of damage oh. off with the Deagle, and Stiko absolutely on a tear. The AK oh. picked up. Get out of ramp, FaZe. This area does not belong to you. Stiko has pulled these shutters closed, and now it all falls onto Nico. Michael Lady finds an AWP. Madden upgrades to an AK. The perfect ooh, position ooh. for this round. The timing for him to pounce is now. It's still oh, now. No. Now it's not now. And he's missed the opportunity coming in late. Makalele going to steal both of those kills. Nice try, Zen, but Makalele got there first. Brokey and Nico, two on four. And this round has been snatched from underneath them, perhaps. Brokey does put up one. Nico doesn't realize oh. there's a guy on the rafter. And oh dear, it falls apart. Nice. Nice bit of surf in there. Timing's going to be everything here, and Makalele... No, what? you're joking. That's not how I thought that was going to go. I almost made the comment, yeah, you should have this one dead to right, so I'm very glad I didn't, because when you're up against Nico, you've got to take into account that this man is a bit of a machine. Rain continuing to force his way towards outside phase with rain having this map control he can tear this a site Ooh. apart but actually zen eyes in the back of his head umbrella out no rain today but cold looking to take this back in favor of phase both players here for godsend it's a two on three an all-out brawl for a and it might go godsend's way unless cold has something to say and maybe he does 30 seconds left on this clock the bomb on his back Always has to, has to be made if Stiko wants to get out. So the door getting open. Cold's ready for it. Stiko looking for the check, and he's got it perfectly in the one on one. Three kills for Stiko. Eight rounds for Godsend. They solidify. They're still not favored that that aggressively. Woo. Well, let's see if it's making sense. Faze are waiting on the A site and quick kills coming through from Madden mainly. He finds two. Train is back in for Cold Zero, who's on a bit of a streak. He's hunting ducks here in the A site. And well, feathers and all. Crystal will fall. It's going to be FaZe finding the pistol round on the CT side. If you're going to poke the bear, at least kill it, you know? That's what they all, always yeah, say. Man, that's the age-old saying. Right? <laughs> you all remember that one right up there with some of the other big sayings. Here's the need onto Crystal. However, Crystal's still allowed to get the bomb planted. Nico, not a fan of that. Not a big fan mm. of Crystal's work in this round. And he does let him get out of the sight now. Nico, ooh, there's a little connection there into the player in the door. <gasps> oh, and he actually yes. just sticks the bomb. You love to see it. You oh, hate to see it. Body if you're God sent it. Oh, oh. Wow. Olaf, you hero. He took bullets for Nico. And that's exactly what you want to see. Olaf. Oh no, Crystal was like, oh, I figured it out. I, I figured out a little pathway into main. But no, Brokey was watching it and he had that one under lock and key. Now the rest of God said, they're set up outside of this A site, or with the exception of Stiko, who once again has been able to secure one hell of a foothold here at round. However, this time Brokey is keeping an eye on him and really looking to limit how Ooh. much damage Stiko can do. Brokey with a nice flick to deal with Stiko, and Makalele gets mopped up shortly after. Phase 11 rounds on the board, four players. Phase on for the rotation, four on three. Bomb planted and ticking away. God sent, have a little bit of time to try and solidify these post parts, and that time has now expired. Crystal, only good for one, does get taken down by Nico. Still the man advantage lying with FaZe. And no noise has been made by Rain at Decon this whole time. Finally, he gives up his game. And now they know that he is here. Madden up on top of the silo. Time is ticking down and getting away from FaZe Clan and Co. And they've got to leave this round back on out of it. I would have loved to see Ray try and stop the bomb palm, right? Obviously, he doesn't know it, but no one was covering it. And it was open for him in Decon, but he is in the way of that. Oh, oh Brokey, though. Hello, there it is. Come on, man. Three's not enough, surely. And I thought he was going to go ahead and get even more, but the trade is in from Makalele. Olaf now up in heaven, and he's got this crossfire set up with Cold. Oh, dear. 
Makalele finds that out the hard way. Stiko, a lot to do, 25 seconds to get it done in. And that's not enough time, Damn. not enough life. They're seeing if, uh, if FaZe want to give them a fight before that point. FaZe is setting up to retake, but not needed to just yet. It would be, if anything, a mistake if FaZe threw a player at them right now. Has someone just DC from FaZe? No, I think it's the other way around. And so we still have three alive for the CT side while the HUD might deceive you. Yeah, Olaf is still on the server. He's going to go for wow. quite a drop there. Lands right in Makalele's face and reminds him that clowning is unacceptable. I think this all kind of adds up now. Luckily, they won't lose the round, even though Stiko dies there. But that could have been a real problem for Godsend. Instead, it's put them a man up, and they're not done with it. They're going to continue to get aggressive. Rain pushes back into the smoke with the support from his teammate as well. Back to the ramp they go, into Boki's AWP, and Olaf's double setup as well. Everywhere Godsend go, they walk into two, and two for Cole puts 14 for FaZe. But even last round, just pushed in the heart by Rain, and that's a swift shot from Olaf. Everywhere Godsend go, they're walking into Hellfire. Ooh, Olaf, one has gotten out past him, and he might not realize Ooh. Zen could do damage here. One little quick tap, and that removes Olaf from play. Suddenly, he's got to sit back and watch as his four teammates try and see this one through to the very end. Zen and Makalele, they've got their fair share of spectators. Three players from beyond the grave, hoping that they can keep Godsent in this series. And it all oh. falls onto Zen, and Zen falls shortly after phase. Rain gonna get the kill behind it. He's really been playing things safe on the CT side. That's nice to see. Fast play out hot, and Rain is just gonna rain down death. Two kills, make it a third into the Molotov. They are walking into fire, smoke, rain, everything in between, and it's phased to find the victory here at the end of.